So now, uh, when I am in touch with family, um, only yesterday I was told that uh, kids can't go to school because the girls at uh, secondary school, they're, they're shut. And boys who do go to school, there aren't any school because the teachers are not paid, so they're not turning up to schools, even in places like Kabul. So go, both boys and girls have to be um, um, homeschooled. Again, it's back to 1990s. My brother was stopped by eight armed men for a mobile phone. Um, it's that desperate because the money is frozen by the international community in the US banks and the European banks. So people are so desperate that you can, you can die for a mobile phone. Um, the same way somebody, um, another close relative who's a doctor whose car was just hijacked uh, in the middle of the way and he made it alive, just, just barely. Um, so I'm receiving messages from cousins and, and family members. They're all, you know, they're not poor. There's a perception that the reason Afghanistan is suffering is because all of these people are poor. I'm getting messages from middle classes, you know, doctors, engineers. My own, like my own cousins are doctors, engineers, and university lecturers, and they're all at home and they're they're saying, well, they're here essentially begging, begging to the extended family to to live. Um, we don't, you know, we can't work, and, and we, there is no money. There is no circulation of the money.